everyone. Welcome back to Atomic News TV. And uh, I apologize that I kind of look like hell right now. Um, I just got done with work and I have a massive headache and I didn't even want to put makeup on this morning. I didn't even want to function this morning, but you know, got to do what you got to do, right? So I went to work and I'm done and I'm running some errands, but I wanted to make a quick video and address the whole argument about us being a nation of immigrants. Okay, so we know that obviously Europe came over here and invaded this country years and years and years and years ago, right? And they took the land from the Native Americans here, okay? They did awful things to the Native Americans, uh, you know, murdered, rounded them up, put them on reservations, etc., etc. We all know history, right? And so we colonized and basically populated this country. Um, and we are a country where people do migrate and, you know, and immigrate to on a regular basis here. People want to come to the U.S. But with the migrant caravan that's coming up right now and the multiple waves that are coming up right now, people keep saying, well, this is a nation of immigrants. You know, we're all immigrants. No, we're not immigrants. The people that are born and raised here, you know, like true Americans, okay, that, you know, like myself, okay? I am not an immigrant. And just because my ancestors may have immigrated here does not make me an immigrant, okay? So by saying we're all immigrants, no, that's false. You are making a straight out false statement. And then the argument that, well, because this nation was founded on immigration, basically, so we should let them all in. That's also false. Just because something happened in history does not mean we need to repeat it, okay? Just because it once existed does not mean it can't change. I mean, at one point we accepted slavery here, but at a certain point in our history as a country, we decided slavery was wrong and the laws were changed right you can't deny that right so why can't we as a nation decide that our immigration laws are currently wrong and need to be changed right it makes absolute sense i mean to me it's a no-brainer and i don't understand why other people don't see that we have the power to change history. I mean, we used to burn witches at the stake. There used to be massive religious persecution where people were put to death for their beliefs. But at some point, we decided that was wrong, <laughs> right? As a nation, we came together and made changes. So why can't we change the laws for immigration now. People use this to their convenience is what they do. Oh, because they have a certain belief, they're gonna say, oh, well, it should be this way, you know? And they're gonna use it to their advantage. And really, people need to look at this as a whole. Things have to change in this country on an ongoing basis. We can't just keep doing something because that's what we've been historically doing since the beginning of the country, since it first started, right? I mean, if we did that, the country will eventually implode one way or another because of one thing or another. Change always happens. There is one thing you cannot stop in life, to change. You can't get back time and you can't prevent change. You can't. So the argument about us being a nation of immigrants, I'm not an immigrant. So that's false. Most of the people watching this video probably are not immigrants either. They were probably born and raised here by American citizens. Probably. 
I mean, of course there's gonna be some sprinkled in there that are watching this video and don't apply, of course, you know? But just because our ancestors did something does not mean we need to continue it. Just because the Constitution says one thing does not mean we can't amend the Constitution and change it based on our votes and our current beliefs as a, as a country. I believe people, sorry, I'm driving, focus with me, camera, hi, focus, hello. It's gonna pick up in a second. I don't know what's going on with my camera. There we go, thank you, welcome back. Um, now I lost my train of thought, son of a bitch. <laughs> but anyway, you get my point, right? I mean, I think overall people want to help these people but we're also smart enough to know that we can't handle that many people and that it needs to be reorganized and restructured so that people are handled correctly and humanely and they get the food and the care and the health care and the you know everything that they need when they come here you know I, we as a nation need to think smarter Think smart, work smart. That's something I've always said in my life. Um, somebody taught that to me when I was 21 um, and I was a store, a retail store manager and it was like, it's been my thought process my whole entire life since and that is what has made me so much money and sales in my life because if you think smart and you plan, you're gonna work smart, right? So this country needs to accept the fact that change needs to happen, all right, in, in regards to immigration. And the liberals, the Democrats, need to let go of their security blanket. And that's what it is, it's a security blanket that they fall back on out of convenience, because it's convenient for them. And they need to stop being afraid. Stop being afraid of change. And change is okay. Change is a good thing in a, in a lot of cases. And by updating our incompetent laws that don't apply to us now, it's going to allow us as a country to grow and be able to accept more people and be greater as a whole. So the moral of my little rant here is... Democrats, get your shit together. Let go of your security blanket and accept the fact that we don't have to repeat history. Just because something happened does not mean it needs to continue. And that it's okay to change. And that is what we need to do. We need to change these laws and make them apply to our country currently. So, anyway, that's my little rant. My Saturday, I don't feel good rant. <laughs> Um, I appreciate you guys for listening. Um, I appreciate I appreciate everybody that has supported my channel. Um, I am fairly new. I'm still trying to grow my subscriber base. So if you do like this video, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and hit that bell icon because I do post, um, you know, a lot of videos on different topics. But right now I'm a little politically charged with the uh, uh, midterm elections. I did just vote early today. Straight red ticket. Heck yeah. So... You know, and if you disagree with my opinions, that's okay, man. That's okay. I'm cool. I'm cool with you. You know, that's what makes this country great is we're all, we all can be different and we all can have different opinions. But I really think that the Democrats need to take a look at themselves and let go and just realize that change is okay. You know, and that changing our immigration laws, it's okay. <laughs> so... Until next time, guys, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and take care. Peace out.